In this video we're going to solve a numerical example of uh, the simplest macroeconomic model that we've learned in this chapter. Okay, so the question reads, suppose you are given the following information for an economy without government spending, exports or imports, you know, these are the kind of models we're looking at in this chapter. C is desired consumption, I is desired investment, and Y is income. C and I are given by C equals 1400 plus 0.8Y and I equals 400. So question A asks, what is the equation for the aggregate expenditure function? Okay, so we know that AE equals C plus I. Because there's no government exp uh, there's no government spending, there's no exports and no imports, we're left with um, desired aggregate expenditure equals consumption plus investment. Now just like we learned, we have to plug in what our functional forms are equal to, and we're given what functional forms for C and I here. So 1400 plus 0.8Y plus 400. AE equals, now we can add 1400 and 400 to get 1800 plus 0.8Y. And so think of this as the capital A that we saw in the video or in the text. And point A is just the marginal propensity to consume, which is equal to the marginal propensity to spend in this case. So this is you know, the Z that you've seen in your textbook, which just equals B in this really simple model. But in future models, it, you know, it's not necessarily just going to be equal to B. OK, so I think that answers the first question. So. What's the equation for the aggregate expenditure function? It's AE equals 1800 plus 0.8Y. So before we go any further, let's just you know put an A there so it's clear that we're answering part A there. Okay, so part B. Applying the equilibrium condition that Y equals AE, determine the level of equilibrium of national income. Okay, so we know that we have this equilibrium condition, Y equals AE. So now we just need to plug in this function that we just, you know, this function that we just found for aggregate expenditure above in part A. We just need to plug that in to the right hand side of part B. So y equals 1800 plus 0.8y. Now we can simply solve. And so now we know that y minus 0.8y equals 1800. So we're left with, you know, 1y minus 0.8y, you're left with 0.2y equals 1800. So now dividing both sides by 0.2, we're left with 1800 over 0.2 equals y. And we can use our calculator to figure out that 1800 over 0.2 is equal to 9000. Okay, so I think we've answered part B, which is just, you know, determine the level of equilibrium of national income, and we found that equals to 9,000. Before we move on, I just want to, you know, quickly graph this so we can see it visually as well. The question doesn't ask us to do this, but I think it's just helpful to remind ourselves what, what we're doing here. And so we have our axis here, AE and Y. We have our equilibrium condition that we always put on, AE equals Y. And now we have this AE function. So if we scroll up, we can see that the intercept of this AE function is 1800, so capitalize 1800, and the slope, or Z, is 0.8. So what this is saying is that the intercept is 1800, and the slope is 0.8. And that's what our AE function is. So if you're ever asked to graphically represent this, this is how you do it. We know where those two lines cross. We just figured out that that's 9,000, so we can put 9,000 there. So this is what it looks like in a graph. We just solved it algebraically. Okay, so moving on to part C. Let's just scroll up so we can read it. Using your answer to part B, determine the values of consumption and investment when the economy is in equilibrium. Okay, so let's go down. It's asking us at Y star. It wants to know what consumption is and what investment is. Okay, investment is really easy. So investment, we know that it's autonomous. All our investment in this model, because we're given above, 
you know, in the question we're just told no matter what the level of y, investment is 400. So we know right away the answer to part of this question is just 400. So you know, 400 because investment is autonomous. Now what about consumption? Well, we know, if we remember what our consumption function looks like, we'll just have to go back up to remind myself, 1400 plus 0.8 times y. So it equals 1400 plus 1400 plus 0.8 times y. I mean, there's a couple different ways you can figure this out, but this is, I think, the easiest way. So 1400, now we're just going to plug in what our equilibrium y is, because it's asking us about at equilibrium, what is consumption? So 0.8 times 9,000. So 0.8 times 9,000, 0.8 times 9,000 equals 7,200. So consumption equals 14 plus 7,200. So consumption at equilibrium is equal to 8,600. And this makes sense because now we have investment equals 400. So now consumption and investment together equal 9,000, which is what we just solved for our equilibrium. So hopefully this gives you a, a good foundation when you're asked to solve any kind of numerical problem or the model and it helps you review kind of the steps that you should take when solving you know the simplest short run model in general.